There are several eternal rivalries in this world. Democrat vs. Republican, blondes vs. brunettes, Pizza Hut vs. Domino's, line dancing vs. disco. What about Xbox vs. PlayStation? What are the console wars, you may ask? Some say the first console war started when Krog the Caveman built the rock box in order to compete with the Mammoth Channel. Other people, much more accurately, say that Super Nintendo vs. Sega Genesis was the first true console war. Is that true? Well, I don't know. Maybe somebody out there was really into the battle between the Intellivision and the Fairchild Channel F, but I think it's safe to say that we can ignore whoever the hell said that. The Super Nintendo vs. Sega Genesis, or Mega Drive if you happen to be from some place that isn't America, was the most savage melee since Mike Tyson picked the fight with Darth Vader. If you aren't old enough to get back pain from sitting on the toilet, you probably aren't old enough to know anything about this console war, so let me drunkenly spell it out for you. The Sega Mega Genesis Drive managed to bitch slap the Super Nintendo Famicom for a little while thanks to a blue hedgehog. Super Nintendo was the more powerful console, with the much beloved Nintendo game series like the Italian stereotype that rescues a princess and the kid that dresses in green that also rescues a princess. Sega, on the other hand, tried to be more adult. And by adult, I mean the way a 12 year old thinks adults act. I tell you what, there's nothing in the world more annoying than a 12 year old who thinks of himself as a badass. Sonic is as adult as a Velcro wallet. Still, it was a little bit more adult than what Nintendo was doing. But enough about the past. Let's talk about something a little bit more modern. The Xbox and the PC... Uh, PlayStation. The modern consoles in this war are the Xbox Series X or S or whichever one you bought, and the PlayStation 5. What is the difference between the two of them? Or three of them? Well, they both have AMD designed x86 processors and AMD graphics hardware. One looks like a toaster, the other looks like a router. But what's the real difference? And loyalty. That's the difference. Most games come out for both machines. If for some damn reason you want the latest Assassin's Creed, well, you can get it for either console if you really wanted it. So why choose one or the other? Well, I guess you can focus on the exclusives. But guess what? Exclusives are growing ever more rare and disappointing. How disappointing? I used to have a favorite dumpster I'd jump inside of to find donuts, and even I thought Forspoken was beneath me. Back in the day, if you wanted Sonic, Golden Axe, or Arnold Palmer's Tournament Golf, you bought a Genesis. If you wanted something with Super in the title, you went with the SNES. Most games were not multi-platform, and it really made each console distinctive. In the modern day, unless it's first party, you can probably get it for whatever machine you want. So, which side of the console war should you place yourself on? I don't, I don't f***ing care. Buy whatever the hell you want. Which side did I fall on? Well, I do own a PS5. And I do not own an Xbox, but that's only because everything that comes out for the Xbox also comes out for the PC. So, you know, good one Microsoft, you talked me out of buying your console. <laughs>